All right, so I literally just filmed another video. So you're gonna see two back to back where I'm in this like sweater, oversized sweater thing. And I don't know which one's gonna go up first. So either you're seeing this one first and then you know that another one's gonna have the same sweater or you've already seen that one and this is just like another one. So if you're wondering why I'm wearing the same thing, that is why. So today I'm going to be doing something really exciting that I have not done in a while and that is a Lush haul. So excited about my Lush haul. It's in just a regular plain paper bag, which is super boring because I actually ordered this online, which means I don't have a pretty Lush bag. I feel like they should just pack it in a Lush bag to make people like me happy because now I'm all like sad. But I ordered this online for a couple of reasons. One is which, one is that I can't carry things as easily anymore with my, my achy back. I have a lot of things in here, so. We're gonna go ahead and get started so we're not here all day. I guess I'll go like in order of theme, category, that's a better word, like soap first. This is a old favorite for me. This has been one of my favorites since like the beginning of me ever shopping at Lush. This smells like oatmeal. It is the most delicious scent ever. And one thing I like about ordering from their online shop as opposed to in stores is that everything is labeled with the name on it so you can remember what everything is because sometimes I buy things and I'm like, I don't know what this was anymore. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. So Porridge says, sweet as molasses with exfoliating oats and nutritious orange. Really? Why does it have orange in it? It has oats to gently exfoliate and cleanse. This I really like because when you get it mixed with water, it creates almost like a cleansing milk. It's super moisturizing and it also has like little oats parts in it so that it exfoliates you really well. So this is a really like perfect combination of exfoliating and also super moisturizing. The next one, is one that I have tried before, but I couldn't remember what it smelled like, and this is sea vegetable soap. Sea vegetable is made with skin softening seaweed with a crust of stimulating sea salt to give your body a good scrub down. Lime, lavender, and seaweed. I definitely smell the lime and the lavender, like underneath. I don't know what seaweed smells like, but I don't like smell a big seaweed, but look how cool that soap looks. It's like all ocean colored and has like a crust on the top. I also got a brand new Lovely Jubblies. I think this is being discontinued, which is shame on Lush because I love this product. It's very expensive and you guys are gonna laugh when you find out what it is, if you don't know already. It is a boob cream. Literally, that's what it is. It's a super moisturizing cream for that area. Kind of firms it up, keeps it from being stretch marky and cellulite -y or whatever. You can also use it on anywhere else that you want firming. So your stomach, your thighs, like whatever you want to use it on, you can. What I love about this is the smell. It smells so good. I also got two of the melts. You basically put these in your bath and they turn your water really milky and really moisturizing and they smell really good. This one is candy scented. It is a pink fluffy waterbed of marshmallow and moisturizing cocoa butter to satisfy cravings for all things sweet and delicious. And then this one, which I like even more, is called Floating Island. This one has creamy cocoa butter and it's just very calming. These smell so good and oh my gosh, they make your water feel so amazing. These are one of my favorite products from Lush. I also got a melt called You've Been Mangoed and this is one that I don't think I've tried. I couldn't remember. It's like one of those ones where I'm like, did I try that? I'm not sure. This is lemongrass and mango bath melt for soft skin. You've Been Mangoed is a bright and breezy citrus perk me up bath melt loaded with nutritious mango and avocado butters to soften and moisturize the skin. Perfect for early morning soaks in the tub. This scent will get you in a good mood for all day long. Okay, so I'm gonna smell this because I don't know if I've actually smelled this one or if I've had it. I feel like I need to go back and watch my old Lush hauls because there's a very good chance I've tried this before and I just don't remember, but I also can't seem to figure out how to open it, so that's an issue. What the heck? Oh my gosh, that smells like straight up lemon and fruit. That is like a really good um, morning time. Like it's very wake me up, very perky, and definitely wouldn't be like a before bed thing, but like a middle of the day bath. I don't normally take baths in the morning ever, but sometimes I take them in the middle of the day. And this would be a really good one for that if you're having an afternoon slump and you need a little pick me up. So I also got three of the solid shampoo bars. Now these are the weirdest products. I've tried them before. They look like this. They're like a little solid 
thing. They have like a weird texture. They look like little like grits kind of glued together. Very, very strange. And I honestly did not have high hopes for these. I thought they'd be very weird. I got one just to try because I'm a huge Lush junkie. And so I kind of just wanted to try one just to see what all the fuss was about and was actually blown away. They actually lather up so well. They're really good for traveling because they're not a liquid. So you can like take them on the plane if you want. They're a solid and they last a really long time and they, they lather up so well. Like I don't even know. And they have lots of different options that are for different hair types. So, oh my gosh. So this first one is called Honey, I Washed My Hair. And if you guys have been following me since the beginning, beginning, beginning of YouTube, my favorite scent of all time from Lush is Honey, I Wash the Kids Soap. It smells like straight up honeycomb and I love the scent of honey. So this is like the yummiest smell. I, I honestly think it's like one of my power smells in life. Like this is, this smells so good. With the generous helping of real fair trade honey, the Sweetie Up A Bar will moisturize and soften your hair without weighing it down, leaving it soft, bouncy, and smelling irresistible. The solid self-preserving bar will last for up to 80 washes, which is the work of three bottles of liquid shampoo and requires no packaging. This is very cool. It's $10. It sounds like super good. I mean, the marketing behind these are really cool, but I feel like they would be a little bit scary if you've never tried them because I couldn't imagine how this was gonna lather up and it really does and it's so good. I also got one of their solid shampoo bar tins. These are like three bucks or something and it's a way to keep your solid shampoo bar, you know, nice and like out of water. If you're traveling, you put it in this so it doesn't get like everything sticky. But um, yeah, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to try this. Like it's gonna be the next thing I try next to my shower, which will be tomorrow morning. I am going to use this because oh, so good. This one is called Godiva. Godiva is a two-in-one jasmine shampoo with conditioning butters. It smells very strongly of jasmine, which is a scent that I really, really love, especially in the colder months. I think jasmine is a very warm scent, whereas honey, I can like all day long. Between the two, I definitely like the honey scent better, but jasmine is up there on like my top scents. So this one's also really nice. It says, these butters and oils care for dry process locks and leave you with glossy, shiny, and softened tresses. Long used as a tonic for the hair and scalp, Jasmine also perfumes your locks with an ultra sexy fragrance with serious staying power. That's probably, I think, why I picked this one because I really like perfumes and uh, body products that last a long time. So this one, specifically saying the scent stays a long time is what made me wanna try it. And I really like Jasmine. And then the last one that I got is called Sea Milk. Oh, it's not Sea Milk, it's Scenic. This is a solid seaweed shampoo bar for shine and body. Soften tangled locks and adds oceans of shine with this mineral rich sea salt volumizing shampoo bar. That smells really good. It says it also has sensual mimosa and jasmine oils to bathe you in the heaty scent of tropical flora all day long. Yeah, it doesn't smell like ocean. It actually smells like the jungles near an ocean. So that makes sense, like tropical flora. It, it has a lot of like flower scents. I think if I'd smelled this in the store, I wouldn't have purchased it over the other two, but I do love that it's specifically for shine and body. But honestly, after smelling all three of them now, the honey I washed my hair is such an amazing scent. If you like honey, you guys need to go try this. Like go to a Lush, smell it, or just buy it online. I got one massage bar, and this is one that I've had before and I love it. It's called Soft Core The Honeymooner, and it is a massage bar that smells like chocolate and honey. Can you imagine? Like. So good. My camera ran out of battery and then I bumped my light, so my lighting might look different. I don't know, I tried to put it back. I was talking about the Soft Core Massage Bar. Massage bars are solid massage oils, so you can use them to moisturize your skin. It melts instantly into your skin. It has this really like moisturizing, oh my gosh, that feels so good. And they have lots of different scents and some of the scents do different things. Like they have one that's for um, sore muscles. They have different ones, but this one I just love because the smell is so decadent. I also got a bubble bar. This is not the comforter. Looks like the comforter, but this one's blue. I don't know if I've ever had this one. This one is blue skies and fluffy white clouds. It has frankincense oil with a woody grounding aroma that blends well into earthy patchouli to relax and restore your state of mind. 
Lay back and feel yourself float through a swirly blue skies and fluffy white clouds of bubbles and into a serene garden of a far eastern temple, leaving stress and worries far behind you. All right. Oh, hmm. You know what it smells like? Guys, it smells like beef jerky. It smells like beef jerky, like that's spicy, but like not, I do like spicy scents, but this is like meat. Like dried beef jerky, I'm not sure about that. I would not have bought that at the store, which explains why I always get the comforter. The last thing I got are one, two, three, four, five bath bombs. So the first one is called Fizz Banger. I actually got two of these and I used them already. This is apple and spice bath bomb. It goes off in the bath like fireworks. That's why it's called Fizz Banger. And then there's a little note inside, which is super cute. Um, they have it in another bomb. This is like leaking and I have powder all over me now. But I really, really did enjoy that. And I'm glad that I got two of them because I used one already and I would have been kind of sad if that had been my only one. So I'm really glad that's the only one that I bought two of. I also got a Space Girl, which is Stellar Black Currency Bath Time Invader with blast of sparkles and refreshing grapefruit oil. Space Girl is a bath bomb of astronomical proportions. So this one looks like it's super glittery, but actually I read a review saying that this is one of their not as glittery ones once it's in the water. I don't like the ones that are like super like big things come out of them in the water and then you have to clean it. Kind of take oh my gosh that smells good i was gonna say it kind of takes away from the luxury of like feeling relaxed of a bath if you have to like clean it right away because there's like chunks of stuff in there this smells good this smells a little bit like the comforter this one is called phoenix rising and i heard that this one was getting discontinued which is why i picked one up because i hadn't tried it this is a spicy cinnamon fizzer royal purple and gold dusted with a cinnamon stick in the center does mine have a cinnamon stick this gorgeous bomb sinks to the bottom of your tub when you toss it in and slowly rises up, fizzing out a spicy apple and cinnamon scent. Whew! Yeah, that smells like spiced cinnamon. It smells really good. It's very different than what I normally would go for at Lush, but definitely like an interesting scent and it smells good, unlike the fluffy blue beef jerky one. I'm not sure about that one. I also got a sex bomb, which is one that I've had before. It makes your water really deep pink and it does have rose petals that come out of it, which is one of the ones that I'm kind of like, ugh, cause it's annoying so you have to clean it afterwards. But what you can do is as the bath bomb is fizzing out, you can actually pluck the little rose part, which is right here, the rosebud out and go ahead and like remove it from your bath so it doesn't get everywhere. And I found that that actually works. Um, so I really like this one. This one smells of straight roses. It is delicious. And then the last thing I have is Pop in the Bath, which I just realized is a bubble bar, not a bath bomb. Mandarin Groves, Orange Blossoms, Dreaming of Summertime. Yeah, it does kind of smell like summertime. A little bit like a natural scent, a very clean scent. I definitely like it. I feel like this would be a scent that a lot of people would like. It just kind of smells clean and fresh. It doesn't have like a super intense scent in either direction. And then I also got a little sample of fig and leaves soap, which is one that I've had before. I like this one a lot. It smells good if you like the smell of fig. So they do include a little sample when you order online. So that was everything that I got from Lush. Pretty big Lush order, but I was excited because I had used up so much of my Lush stuff and actually all of it. I had like two bath bombs left. So uh, I was really excited to kind of like replace my stash a little bit, replenish it. And I am going to take a bath right now because I'm done filming for the day and I don't know what I want to use, but I kind of want to use Fizz Banger again, even though I just used that one. So maybe I'll try something new. Oh, you know which one I'm going to use? I'm going to use Space Girl because this one smells so good. So good. I love the scent of that. So I'm going to use this one tonight. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more Lush hauls, um, I actually shop at Lush a lot and I don't always film them because I don't know how many Lush hauls. I mean, it's like a lot of the same stuff. So I don't know how many you guys would like, but if you want to see more, I can definitely film more and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.